Hi guys, and welcome back to Leslie Through the Looking Glass. For those of you that are new here, my name is Leslie. I'm so happy to have you here checking out my channel. For my returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for coming back and your continued support. Um, so it is Mental Health Monday. I am back this week with a video that I kind of have talked about a little bit. We're going to be going over just some of the tools that I use day to day to help manage my anxiety and then we're going to talk a little bit about sleep and what I use um, to help me sleep a little bit better as well. Um, so first of all I just hope everybody is having a good start to their week. Our Monday is snowy here. I was hoping we were done with this for the year but it is snowing like crazy at my house. Um, we did have a couple nice days over the weekend though, so that vitamin D definitely boosted my spirit and my energy a little bit. Um, but the two things I really want to talk about a little bit today is, uh, first I'm going to talk about a couple apps that are out there that are really helpful. Um, technology is like a double-edged sword. Staying too involved in technology I feel like makes a lot of uh, mental health symptoms worse. Um, because either like you're comparing yourself to other people, people are just portraying a not valid picture of life and everything seems perfect and it gets people down or you just use it like I do as an escape, of, like you're just mindlessly scrolling and you're not thinking about your anxieties or issues, stuff like that. But on the flip side of it, there's so many apps and things out there now that can help and kind of like guide you through some scenarios. So I've talked before about how I do yoga. I've actually also worked on meditation um, and it's something I have incorporated. And I actually use this the most right before bed. Um, I've tried to kind of like shut myself down. I used to always just watch TV or scroll through Facebook or Instagram or whatever before bed. And now I've tried to, once I'm done, you know, doing whatever I have to do before bed. I will try to sit there and meditate for a few minutes and kind of slow my body down and shut my brain down. Um, I have found two apps. One is called Headspace. Um, Headspace has tons of different stuff, um, meditation, sleep aids, like all sorts of different information and recordings and stuff like that. However, you have to pay for a lot of that as you go. Um, there are like some parts that are free, but then you have to pay for access to the rest of them. Um, and then I have actually found, I used an app. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I don't know how you say the name of the app. It's like Medito or Medito. It's M-E-D-I-T-O. Um, and I'll put the app names and everything down below. Um, I do use Android, so I don't know if they are the same for, um, Apple. I've not looked into that at all either. Um, but they give you kind of a lot of different options and the app I currently use, it has, um, meditation for just like daily use. It has for anxiety. It has for like emotionally being sad for irritability. There's a lot of different categories that it works into, which I like because I feel like it kind of helps focus on those things. Um, and then there's like sleep um, meditation guides as well as like sleep sounds and stuff like that. Now for me personally, I don't use the apps from the standpoint of like, um, using them to fall asleep, like the sounds and stuff. I am a Netflix person. I fell asleep listening to a show. Um, I have to, it has to be a show I've seen enough that it doesn't keep me awake, but it, it works kind of as the same. Um, it's the quiet that like doesn't let me makes my brain like loud so but I have been working on the meditation to kind of slow down my breathing and relax my body so that I'm more easily able to lay down and fall asleep um, in these apps too they even have like if you wake up from a nightmare here's a thing to like a meditation and it's like three or five or eight minutes you can pick and it will like have you like lay down, relax your body, take a deep breath, and kind of like work you through the steps to try to help you go back to bed. Um, sorry guys, itchy nose. Um, but yeah, so I have found those to be really helpful. Meditation in general though to me took a while to appreciate 
appreciate and feel like it was helpful. Um, at first I just kind of felt silly doing it. I didn't really embrace it and understand how it worked. I felt like meditation was like clearing your mind and getting rid of all your thoughts versus what it really is, which is just like letting you sit with your thoughts and be okay with how your brain is thinking and just making space for yourself. Um, so, and it's not for everybody. Um, it's definitely, you know, something I've incorporated. And the other big thing for me is the breathing that has always been the first thing that, um, my therapist mentioned to me, um, to relax is like, and it was so hard for me in the beginning, but now it's such a huge help. Um, I mentioned it before, but I started using an app to be able to do it, the breathe app. And now I don't need the app, but it was very hard for me in the beginning. If you don't know what the breathing technique is, like I said, there is an app and it was helpful to me in the beginning, but it's basically you inhale for eight seconds, hold for four, exhale for eight. And I got so caught up in the beginning that I like panicked myself more. I was like feeling like I couldn't hold my breath long enough. And then I was feeling, it was ridiculous. But now that I have that mastered, that really helps, especially like anxiety attacks throughout the day, stuff like that. I'm able to step away for 30 seconds and do a few rounds of breathing and calm my heart rate. And it's a really good tool. Um, the other thing that I use that again, it's not for everybody in no way, shape or form. Am I saying this is something you need to do or should even try? Um, but I also use essential oils. Um, I have used them for years. I kind of fell out of it for a while with having Amelia because I was worried about oils and impacting kids and stuff like that. Um, but I have started using them a little bit more frequently in my routine. Um, I use a lot of lavender, vetiver, um, a peace and calming oil, and I'll use those in my diffuser at night. Um, and I, those do absolutely help my quality of sleep. So I'm trying to incorporate that a little more, um, as well as there's a couple blends. Like I said, I mentioned peace and calming. There's another one called Valor. Um, and then a blend that I use that they actually like the nickname of the blend is liquid Xanax. Um, and I do try to use those a little bit day through the day. If I'm having some extreme anxiety. I'll put a little like on my wrists or behind my ears and um, that also can kind of help me. Again, not for everybody, but that is also something I use. Um, lavender oil in general is super calming. I use it in baths with Epsom salts often as well. Um, and those are the big things that have helped me the most. Um, like I said, everybody is different. It is a hundred percent just finding the things that work and fit best in your day-to-day -day life and your routine. But just like everything else, you know, if you don't try it for a while and give it a fair chance, it's going to seem like it's not working. Um, that's kind of how I felt about yoga initially. I was like, it's like a fine workout and I like the stretches, but I didn't get like the spiritual side of it and the like feeling connected to the ground and all of that until like I really opened my mind to it and meditation was very much the same way. I felt really silly initially doing it. I didn't really clear my mind and have it work for me and now it makes a huge difference. So those are the few things that I wanted to throw out there as tools that help me. Um, and because some of them are through apps, it's a really easy way to get started and give it a try without, you know, much of a commitment, especially if you use one of the free apps, you know, it doesn't hurt to try it. If you do it for a couple weeks and you're just like, eh, great, you delete the app, move on, try something different. Um, but I highly recommend, even if it's not like a huge anxiety thing, it's just a relax and relaxation thing, meditation, or just the breathing alone can make a really big difference. Um, and the other thing I will say, the piece of advice for breathing that my therapist gave me in the beginning, that kind of was a cha game changer for me is to practice your breathing when you are doing something that you like to do for relaxing. So like your brain associates those breaths with relaxing. So for me, before I used it to like help me sleep and stuff, I would like use it when I was in the bathtub or when I did that sensory deprivation flow, I worked on my breathing in there. 
And it kind of, so that way your brain associates those breaths with a relaxing feeling. So now when I lay in bed and do that breathing or sit on the couch before I go to bed and do the meditation with the breathing, it really helps my brain like unwind a little bit and relax a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I really think those things are helpful with or without anxiety. I feel like the breathing thing is definitely a helping, helpful relaxation tool. Um, and like I said, I'm a firm believer of lavender oil for unwinding and helping, um, induce like a better sleep that works really well for me. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't think I have much else today. Um, I will leave the apps that I use down below that I mentioned. I'll put them all in there in the description um coming up i'm just so excited because my dear friend brian opened his etsy shop a few weeks ago i talked about it and opened some of his soap on um my channel but he has a launched subscription boxes you guys and i will be unboxing a um one of his subscription boxes on saturday for you guys i'm so, so excited. Um, and that for those of you that are not part of like my Disney following, um, definitely come back on Saturday. I know they're usually Disney based, but this is going to be much more mental health based. Um, his company is all about like holistic healing and mental health. Um, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And that is coming up. I have not sure what we're going to do next week for Mental Health Monday, but after that will be Mickey Lou the following weekend. So lots of stuff coming up. I'm excited to share with you guys. I have some small shop stuff coming up down the road. I have a couple giveaways and magic mail to share with you guys. Um, lots of, lots of cool stuff coming up. So as always, guys, thank you so much for coming to watch. If you are not already, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. Um, hit the button down below. If you turn on the bell notification next to it, you'll be alerted every time I post new content. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any other questions or any other um, things you would like me to talk about. I love being able to incorporate things that you guys are looking for in my videos. Um, if you use any other apps that I didn't mention, hit me up and let me know those down in the comments below too because I'm always looking to change it up and see what works best. All right, guys. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.